How many people in here have a driver's license? Let me see the hands. Driver's license. How many people ever been pulled over before? It's not fun, right? But it's part of our job and it's part of you guys being motorists. So what we got going on right here is a typical four-door sedan driven by Officer Spencer and her co-pilot today is Officer Rogowski. Officer Cole and Officer Inglet are going to pull them over. The girls are going to use quotes and actions that they have seen themselves. Nothing you are about to see here is made up. These experiences have been witnessed firsthand by members of the Buffalo Police Department, many of us from our own notes right here and now. Okay? In a few minutes, when they get done, we've got two volunteers who are going to teach us the right way and going to be good examples for all of us. Then we'll break it down as a group. We have one very important life lesson that we're going to close with, and then we'll open up questions. And I'm going to open up with this, and I'm going to close with this. Everything that we do, meaning us as the police, is done for a reason. It may not be super apparent right now, but hopefully when we're done here, and you see the example, you'll realize that we don't ask you the silly questions, and we don't make you do silly things just because we want to, or just because it's fun. It's because stuff has to be done. Hi ma'am, how are you today? Officer Cole, Club Police Department. Can you do me a favor? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ma'am, ma'am, can you do me a favor? I got you. Can you get off the phone? Hold on, ma'am. What? Hi, you know why I'm pulling you over? For what? You have a burnt out headlight. Listen, I don't got you. Also, man, you weren't wearing your seatbelt. Why do you keep saying that? Why are you pulling me over? Why are you pulling me over? Well, why are you pulling me over though? I'm pulling you over. I already explained that to you. You, you have a burned out headlight. Okay. And I, your license, your I mean, I just got my car. Like, I'm not understanding why you, why okay. you bothering me. Okay, your headlight's burned out. That's why I'm bothering you. Okay, what do you mean? Oh, my God. Miss, 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 miss. Can you reach? Miss, miss. I'm getting it. You just asked me. Okay, you can not get in your pocket. And you can Oh, I told you I got it right here. Okay, thank like, you very much. Can I have a driver's license and registration, please? <laughs> Can you please not turn on the brake? She's texting. Hello? Ma'am, license and registration, please. Okay. What the fuck? Hey, hey, sit down in the vehicle. Sit down in the vehicle. I'm not going to ask you again. Sit down in the vehicle. Ma'am. Ma'am, I'm issuing you what is called a fix and ticket. Are you kidding me? I don't even have money. Okay, I'm giving you a break on the seat. Y'all got better other stuff to do than okay. bothering me. Why are y'all bothering us? Don't y'all got to worry about somebody else? They somebody getting killed right now. Why are you worrying about somebody else? Ma'am, no, you're like, like, Okay, but I'm trying to drive the car. Like, like, come on, come on, I'm not about to listen to you. Come on, come on. What? So what I issue is a fix ticket. You get the problem fixed and return to any one of our precincts and have an officer sign off on it. I don't have time. I gotta work at 6 a.m. Like, what do you? I gotta work at 6 a.m. Like, what do you? I gotta work at 6 to 4. 6 to 4. Same thing, no headlight. Action. Okay, so we've, we've turned on our lights now. We've turned on our lights. We've done everything we did in the same manner because we are creatures of habit and we do everything exactly the same. We try to do everything so it's muscle Hi, memory. Hi, sir, how are you today? Hello, kind of. My name is Officer Cole of the Buffalo Police Department. Did you realize that you have a burned out headlight? I realized. You know that you have a burnt eye. I was gonna get it fixed. Okay. You know, we had a little trouble. Okay. But but, but you, you you but what? I was gonna get it fixed. Okay, you're gonna get it fixed. Okay. All right. Do me a favor. Give me your license and registration. I'm gonna um, run your uh, license and registration. Everything checks out with that. You'll be on your way. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and reach for that now. I'm reaching for it. I appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be right back. With you. So you don't have to keep your hand with you, please. Here's your license and registration back. Um, I'm not issuing a ticket because you admitted to having a problem and then you were going to get it fixed. So I'm going to go ahead and let you get it fixed. Just be careful driving tonight. Go straight home and uh, get that fixed in the morning, okay?
Okay, police officers do everything we do for a reason, right? When we go home safe, it's better for you because when we're safe, you're safe, right? So what you guys have in the back is the typical view of a police officer on a traffic stop, right? You're walking up, you're coming from behind the car. All right, I'm gonna give Chelsea the soccer ball. She's got a water bottle. And I'm gonna give you the football. All right, from where you're standing, what does Chelsea have in her hand? Well, what's your guess? What's the guess? Cell phone. That she's probably got a phone or she's playing with something. Okay. Anybody else guess? Same thing. Uh, she has a phone. Okay. All right. Chelsea, pick something up. Yep, you know. What does Chelsea have in her hands, everyone? Turn around. Show everybody behind you. I know it's overly dramatic and we end that way on purpose. We opened up with, we tell you to do stuff, and we go through things in a procedure for a reason, all right? Our job is different every day. We meet different people every day. We meet different people who have different intentions every day. We have to treat everybody the same. So when you're on your way to church, or you're on your way to basketball practice, and you get pulled over, and we say, show me your hands, we do that for a reason. Because you guys have no idea what's going on up here, do you? Thank you very much. You're all great volunteers.